Hi, uh, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an ID variable in SPSS. Now, this is something that over the years I've had to do many times, and I write on a piece of paper how to create it, um, or I save the syntax file somewhere and I can't find it anymore. Um, so this is something that's done quite frequently, but it's not totally obvious or easy to do in SPSS. So I'm going to create this uh, little video to teach you how to do it. There are two ways to do it and, th and they're both applicable to different contexts. The first one is a little bit more complicated because it uses a l an input program prompt uh, through syntax. Uh, and this is the case where you have a totally blank data set and you want to create um, an ID variable to start with. Uh, now to do that, you're going to File, New, and Syntax. Now let me just minimize this. So once you have your syntax file open and you have your data editor open as well, you just need to type input program period loop. So it's going to create a loop, and the loop is going to be called ID. So that's the ID variable name. Equal 1 to 1,000. So I'm creating an ID variable going from 1 to 1,000 sequentially. That's the crux of the program, but you have to add a few extra lines in SPSS as basically a default default command lines within uh, SPSS to actually end the loop and uh, input the data into the file. So you go end case, end loop, uh, end file, end input program, and then finally execute. Now, I'm just typing these, but you can tell that um, SPSS has a, has a library and it uh, it gives you suggestions as to what you should be typing, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know when SPSS started that. It wasn't. Well, it, could, it can't be too long ago. Uh, so now we've got that done. Input program loop ID equal one to a thousand, and you can change that to anything you wanted to. It could be fifty to two uh, million or whatever whatever value you wanted. Uh, end case, end loop, end file, end input program, execute. I'm going to run that. Run all. And SPSS has done something to the data file. And it what it's done is it's created the variable ID. And it goes from 1 all the way to 1,000. So that's the first way to create an ID variable in SPSS. I'll put that on my blog, the syntax on the blog that corresponds to this video. Uh, so just go to the link that I hope I remember to put that into the YouTube um, summary. Now, in the other case, which is very f common, probably more common, you've already inputted a bunch of data into SPSS, and then you've realized, I need an ID variable. What's the quickest way to do it if you don't want to use some kind of loop program? Uh, the quickest way to do it if you've already got at least one variable that uh, goes from the beginning to the end of the cases, go into transform, compute, and ID2, you can call it whatever you wanted. Now, the, you need to add a numeric expression and go into function group and click all. Now, what the, the key function here is uh, case num. So uh, dollar sign case now, just double click that and that'll be added to the numeric expression and then just click OK. And SPSS in a blink of an eye created another ID variable called ID2, that's what I specified, and it knows how many to create without being specified because it just looks at how many variables there are in the uh, data set that exists already that was inputted from another variable. So these variables could be anything. It doesn't have to be an ID variable. That could be uh, intelligence, stock price. This could be any type of variable next to it. So those are the two main methods of creating an ID variable. I hope you make use of it. I use it on a regular basis. Uh, thanks for watching.